Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Super Booze Brothers. Yes. This time I got two other Booze Brothers with us. You guys know these faces. They're with me most of the time. Grizzly McBee, what's up y'all? Monster 74. I guess it's a triple feature. We're doing a cherry vanilla porter by Pie Hole Porter out of Flagstaff, Arizona. Picked these up in Flagstaff while I was uh, on a little vacation with my fiance this last week on my birthday. Yeah, it's a beer. Um, I bought a six pack. I tried one of them. They were delicious. I was like, oh, these guys got to try it. This is the first time we were ever doing something that's not an hard alcohol. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop them open and give them a try. Do they have a specific taste, Chris? Uh, the cherry vanilla. Okay, well, let's the do cherry it. vanilla beer. Smells kind, good. Kind of like a, a, a light ale yeah, with okay. flavoring. Porter. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it smells, it Cheers. smells good. Cheers, guys. Smell like rich coffee. Oh. It does have a coffee taste to it. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. If you like coffee, then this is probably your thing. I was expecting like something sweet, like very foo-foo. Mm -hmm. But instead I got like <sighs> coffee in your face. Well, I guess I'm taking the other one home with me then. Yeah, these aren't... I, I'm not a fan. I'm, okay, well, let's rate it. I'll give it one more try before I rate it. And, uh, one out of ten. I'm giving it a five. I give it a two only because it has a okay flavor at first, but the after aftertaste. I don't. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that aftertaste. I mean, it like it's drinkable. Yeah. It's and I gotta be really drunk to to enjoy this. I'm giving it a seven out of ten. Okay. But the can looks more appetizing. Yes. Than it does. Like you look at it, and you're like. I see oh the, god, you see a pie there. It's yeah. a big pie. And you're like, oh, it's going to taste like cherry pie. It's going to be fucking sexy. And then you drink it, and it's like you're drinking... Coffee like, beer. Yeah, you're drinking coffee beer. Yeah. I can't stand coffee to begin with. I can see that tasting better the more you do it. Yeah. Like, yeah. But... We could totally be brothers. Barkley peanut butter cup porter. So. This one is a bit sweeter than the other one. This is uh, by... Uncle Bear's Brewery. Okay. Um, also in Flagstaff. Bought it at the same place. Um, California, you need to step up your game. We need uh, drive through liquor stores. I like that idea. Um, yeah. Because that was an experience, let me tell you. A that drive through was, liquor store. Yes. It's like you, you're pulling up to a drive through at McDonald's, but the lady working there was freaking amazing. It was in Flagstaff, Arizona. It was called Beaver Street Liquor. I love peanut butter cups. It well, smells really good. good. It smells delicious. Mm. I'm not big on chocolate, so the the mixture between alcohol and and chocolate peanut butter for me, it just doesn't do it. It it it's it's not for me. It's it's it still has coffee taste to it to me. Cheers, boys. It, it's it's. It, it, it's not a coffee taste, it's a chocolate alcohol taste. Yeah. Like, uh, because, you know, it's not something that you would ever think should go together. I mean, it... it... So, like, for me, I give that a, a 1 out of 10. That's just not my thing. Eight, 8 out of 10. For me. Yeah. The only thing that, that, that uh, I don't like about it is the... Um, it's like the first initial, it was like black. Yes. Like, I, I love peanut butter cups, but I don't like chocolate by itself. I think if I could taste yeah. the peanut butter, it would be a bit different for me. It's the bitter that hits you and it makes me not want I like it. I'm going to finish more. my mind. Ooh, the end is just as good as the beginning. So, you'd give that an 8 out of 10, i give that a 1 yeah, out of 10. Six, what would you give that? Six. A 6 out of 10? Okay. Now we're going to move to the coup de grace. In this same spot in Flagstaff, Arizona, at this drive through liquor store, which they allowed us to go inside after we ordered the first batch of alcohol. I went in and saw this. Pirate Rum. Spell the Y. P-Y-R-A-T. And it, you know, it comes in a treasure chest. And I immediately thought of Wilde because he is obsessed with pirates and thought, we got another Booze Brothers episode right here. <laughs> right, then, right in there. <laughs> I even said that in the store, and I looked at my fiance and was like, "I gotta get this because 
I need to drink this with with the Wild and, and, and Monster. Rum. It's pirate rum, and, and it's in a treasure chest, and that's amazing. You know, he's going to open this treasure chest. Is it spiced rum? Nope, it's just straight I mean, rum. Look, look at that. It's got the actual cork top. Listen for it. Listen for it. Oh, I didn't do it that loud, but... Smell good? Smells like rum already. It smells like Patron. Oh, it does smell like Patron. It smells like I'm going to throw up. <laughs> it's okay. Pirate XO Reserve is carefully produced from the finest artisanal spirits and exotic ingredients carefully sourced from throughout the globe. Elegant and distinctive, Pirate is characterized by its rich amber color, which it does have, and oak wood aroma. The taste is a uh, delicious balance of oak wood, vanilla, orange, and light cane sugar with a slight spice on the finish. In enjoy the Pirate XO Reserve neat, on the rocks, or in your favorite cocktail. So it can be used in a good mixed drink. I imagine this, this mix as well. Good luck to us, guys. This is... Tell you what it tastes like. Oh, that one pretty smooth. Yeah, it's, it's got that first instant little burn, but it's, it's got that nice rum flavor. All right, this is uh, <laughs> mixed with Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. The hell do you think we're on a diet? Okay. Oh, oh that was okay. really good. Okay. Much better in with mixed. Much better mixed. Okay. I didn't even taste it. Tenfold better mix. Yeah. So straight. Straight, I would give it because it was it went down smooth, and that's very important. It, it, it had a first little bit of a bite. Yeah. But then it just got real smooth and. I thought tasteful. the bite was afterwards. Taste. The fact that it went down smooth was, yes. was a big factor to me. Yes. I, I'm gonna juice. give it. I'm gonna give it straight. Like it's straight. I'm gonna give it maybe like a seven and a half. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Is is. Between a, a seven and seven and a half straight. Yeah. Yes. I was yeah. about seven to say about seven. So, so yeah. we're all agreement on like seven, seven and a half, mm -hmm. seven. So mixed, guys. Mixed. Ten. Uh, I I would definitely say between a nine and a ten mixed, because I mean I can taste it, but not taste it. We got diet Pepsi, right? You can taste the diet Pepsi, and you can taste the pirate rum. And it melds together so wonderfully. I'll give it a nine. Oh, and it definitely. melds together so wonderfully. Definitely, it's it's good. Like yeah, this is I'm, one of those. If you mix it, you're gonna feel safe until maybe the fifth drink, and then it's all gonna hit you at once. Oh, that mix is so. Good. It does. It tastes so good. With stuff and I don't like diet sodas. I that never have. Good, but that tastes so good. <laughs> Just the bottle is uh, thirty three ninety nine. With the case, um, with the the custom case, and you know all that, it uh, the lady store said that it retails for roughly fifty dollars. I got it for thirty five. Okay, okay. I got it for thirty five bucks at Beaver Street Liquor in Flagstaff, Arizona. Oh. I would say this pirate rum is by far number one. It's damn good. By far number one. Number two but don't me. don't take our word for it. Try it yourself. Yes. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment. Slap that like button. Ring our Sub bell. Ring Which our bell. You will see many more videos of us either intoxicated or not intoxicated. But on the way, if you are so inclined to give us a call and leave a message. So that number is 559 nine nine seven six eight zero three give us a call do you want to see monster do a donkey show <laughs> he'll be glad to do it for you give us a call all that fun stuff till then guys yes. we want you to stay nerdy stay sexy always